You know what it is I love about being Spider-Man? Everything. Peter Parker. There he is, boy. It's been 10 years. What have you been up to? I do some web design. It's just the wrist, it's just on the wrist, buddy. Peter, you're gonna wanna see this. Oscorp. Yet you under surveillance. Why? Isn't that the question of the day? Nothing is what I thought it was. I once told you that secrets have a cost. The truth does too. My name is Richard Parker. I have discovered what Oscorp was going to use my research for. The future. We have plans for you, Peter Parker. You wanted to be the hero. Need a hand? Now you gotta pay the price. We have the power now. We can change the world. Then let's go catch a spider. I made a choice. This is my path. This is bigger than you, Peter. I'm the only one who can stop them. I'm Spider-Man. I love you. Don't hate me. Peter! Wow! They are really saving a lot for the actual film, which is rare for Hollywood. But think about it. This is the final trailer. Uh, Sony's very clear about that. And the movie comes out in just about a month. It's going to kick off summer 2014. But we have yet to really see the rhino. We haven't heard Paul Giamatti talk. We've seen very little of the Green Goblin, mostly just from behind, and a few snippets from the side here in fast motion. Uh, and if you try and freeze frame it, it's just mostly uh, blurred. Yet still, Sony today, though, did release a still of Dane DeHaan in full Green Goblin costume, so it's confirmed that Harry will be the Green Goblin. And he looks, it's a very different take on the character. He looks very chemically scarred and crazy, which is Dane DeHaan's specialty. But I think Dane DeHaan is going to really nail this role both on and off the glider. And I think Jamie Foxx looks very compelling as Electro. So I think it's interesting to see yet another movie with very strong and well-developed villains. Uh, we've seen it with Loki, the Joker, Maleficent coming up. Uh, and then here you have two very strong villains in the movie. Uh, hopefully Paul Giamatti will be strong. Who knows? Also, Felicia Hardy is supposed to play Black Cat. Or, uh, I mean, uh, Felicity Jones plays Felicia Hardy, a.k.a. Black Cat. We've seen nothing there of her of the actress at all really uh, so that's another villain but it's particularly interesting for the spider-man movies because as we all have heard sony is really intent on building their spidey cinematic universe and with film with villain movies because he has a very a uh, large rogues gallery and a very small supporting gallery uh, of characters. So they're going to go uh, with villain movies like a Sinister Six film and such. So I think these, these characters need to be compelling and so far they look like they are and they could support their own film. So that's very interesting. Uh, so with this trailer, we don't see a lot of new stuff. Uh, I think this trailer, the main thrust of it really seems to be uh, aerodynamic Spidey. Uh, a lot of cool twists and turns, a lot of cool uh, air acrobatics that still I think look realistic. I, what I loved about the first movie is that I think it did such a great job of, you know, having Spider-Man literally leap off the page and uh, copying a lot of his classic poses. I think they're going even further now with things, obviously, that you couldn't do in uh, a still medium. Uh, like, it's not fluid like film, obviously, uh, but like comics. But I think that the way they're showing Spider-Man move makes sense. I mean, clearly Peter's been practicing. And I also think probably the point of this trailer is to make sure you see it in 3D. Uh, I would actually also recommend you see it in 3D. I saw The Amazing Spider-Man, the first one in 3D, and uh, it was a huge selling point for that movie. It was very well done. Uh, Spider-Man, because he moves and flies around so much, 
uh, that really utilize the 3D well. You can see that in this trailer, there's a lot of aerodynamic fights uh, between Electro and also the Green Goblin falling with Gwen Stacy through the clock tower. I think they'll all be very well done in 3D. Uh, and I, in the first film, because I already knew the story largely, the 3D was one of the things that kept my, held my interest and kept me going with the movie. So I think it's very smart, but I think this movie, this trailer is making sure that you want to see this movie in 3D and just reinforcing that choice when you go to the box office. Maybe even IMAX 3D. That's how I saw it. And as I said, I really enjoyed it. And the final thing that I want to say about this trailer is that I know a lot of people, maybe it's not a lot, but a very vocal contingent, really likes to complain about Andrew Garfield cast as Peter Parker, that he's emo Peter Parker. And I can see where you're coming from. He does have shades of emo. But I think that's just, they've modernized the character. And I think Andrew Garfield is a fantastic Peter Parker. He perfectly captures the mix of, like, dorky humor and, uh, you know, scientific genius that is Peter Parker, that makes the character so great in and out of the mask. Uh, and I think he's doing that here. Also, the character's poor life decisions. Uh, I mean, I've discussed this sometimes, I think, uh, here and also on Think About the Ink, that Spider-Man is his own greatest enemy, because and as I think that's something that Doc Ock taking over his life has really helped to underscore, that if Peter Parker made the hard decisions, uh, he would have he would have better control of his life and be more successful as Peter Parker and Spider-Man. So, but you know, Peter Parker, uh, I don't know, maybe you know, it's hard to argue that someone's heart is uh, is a weakness that they their heart and soul. But I think Andrew Garfield does a great job. I think I love that they've reintroduced humor into these movies, not at Peter Parker's expense, but that he's making the jokes. The interplay between him, between Peter Parker and Harry Osborn here, between Andrew Garfield and Dane DeHaan, I think is quite good. I love the joke about flipping the wrist. What are you doing now? Web design. It's all really well done, uh, and I think it's it's not like wink wink or like wah wah. It actually is legitimately clever and brings a smile to your face, and I think it's something that. I've always wanted to see with the character, and I think Andrew Garfield delivers. And so I think he's a great Spider-Man. So as I discussed yesterday, if he wants to leave after the third film, or Mark Webb wants to leave and Sony wants to do something else, I would really be against them recasting this role. I would rather they do what they did in the Ultimate Universe, where they killed off Peter Parker, they showed his sacrifice, and had Miles Morales pick up the mask. Uh, and then also, as I've mentioned, Jessica Drew, the female uh, clone of Peter Parker in the Ultimate Universe is another way to go. I think Andrew Garfield is fantastic in this role, and I really think that he should be allowed to own it for at least a little while. But then, look what happened to Christian Bale. Alright, so that's my review of this trailer. What do you think of this, uh, the final trailer? Did it sell you? Were you already sold? Uh, and will you see it in 3D? Uh, write your thoughts down below, and also what you think of what you have seen of the Green Goblin and, and that still I showed you. Alright, thank you for watching. You can check out more episodes right now.